Look at Daniel Ricciardo. He's poured champagne into his into his driving <laughs> shoe. That has got to taste disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> This is becoming a ritual. Cheers! Almost done with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and the 2017 season. I want to remind you, coming up next is Premier League Live. A big morning coming ahead, so stick around for that. And as so many of you have been so generous on social media, you acknowledge what is happening here and now. And this is our final broadcast, final time for Formula One on NBC Sports. Steve-O, you're up first. It's been quite, quite the journey. Oh, it's been fantastic. For the last 30 years, um, Formula One has been absolutely bonded to me every day. I was fortunate enough to join Benetton in 1990. These were in the days before Michael Schumacher and before Ross Braun. And what excited me the most was seeing that team grow, slowly grow and become a, effectively a world championship winning team. What's most exciting me about working with you guys at NBC is everything that happens behind the scenes that you guys never get to see. We stand in front of the camera, but everything that happens behind, whether it's in production and audio, has just been phenomenal. Thank you very much. It's been a great, great, great experience. Well, after 41 years, nearly 2,000 shows, of which 500 have been Grand Prix, I'm finally bidding everybody adieu. And I want to thank NBC for the last five years, which were the best and the happiest in all the TV I've done. And I also want to thank the fans who've kept me around for over 40 years. And I want to thank absolutely everybody involved, especially you two guys and Will back there in Abu Dhabi and the guys behind the camera. Well, it's time uh, for I'll... our podium. <laughs> I promised you we would do this. It's time for our podium. There's a little bit in there. I didn't put too much in there, but... This started out as for David Hobbs, but it really is for all of us. And uh, seeing how I'm the Aussie on the crew, I'll do it real style. Oh, my God. I'm not looking forward to this, but... <laughs> hey, guys, here's our cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers to cheers, everybody. Cheers, here's cheers, our cheers, shoey for yeah, Daniel Ricciardo. Yeah, cheers. Ooh. I think I'd rather I do it out of that new boot. Oh, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than a race boot, that's for sure. <laughs> so that's it. It's the end of an amazing five years here on F1 on NBC Sports. We are proud to have grown the sport here in the United States through our comprehensive broadcasts and, as Will mentioned, through our original programming. There have been many good times. There have been many <laughs> late nights. There have been many, many early mornings in, in order to bring you the coverage that we have. We want to thank all of you, the US F1 fan base, for your support, your constant support, and we also want to thank our amazing team here at NBC Sports. You won't meet a more passionate and dedicated group. It has been a privilege. It's been wonderful. We'll see you down the road. It's the beginning of a new racing season. It's the beginning of a new era for Formula One on NBC Sports. Mark is too slow, get him out of the way. Sebastian, Malkibab 2-1. Yeah, multi-21. Van der Poster, This is wow. absolutely crazy. It will work zero safety in the, in the race. This is real history being made here. Sebastian Vettel is a four-time world champion. You and Nico at loggerheads against each other. Is that real? I mean... Very, very real. It's very intense. This is full competition between teammates. Nico hit me. Will you be Formula One world champion? Do you think? I will do all what I can to, to become one one day. Bianchi is just manhandling his car around here. Finally we have a point. Woo! I'm so happy. And if I can't, I would have uh, no regrets. Sergio Marchione said, a Ferrari that is not winning is not a Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel wins for Ferrari. Ferrari is Formula One, and we are back now. Mercedes thrown away the lead of this race for Hamilton. Nico Rosberg just don't think he ever thought he was going to win that race. What do you say to Lewis now? Sorry. When it comes to the next race, I'll, I'll be, be back. back. Right? <laughs>
Didn't see this one happening, did we? It is uh, torrential. We've had it all in the pit lane here at Circuit of the Americas. Nico Rosberg runs off track from a blue collar upbringing to a global superstar to a three time world champion. We have been working now since years to have this moment. This is the American dream. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. I have a race with less power in my life. I try already, so try yourself. You came like a torpedo. If I keep going the same line, you'll we'll crash. Don't keep going. <laughs> Verstappen has blown it! When he's shouting on the radio like a child. He is the message of Charlie. Oh. It is just like a child. Oh, I'm out! Crash! Somebody hit me in the rear! Go on, attack me. No problem. Go on. Huge news. 18-year-old Max Verstappen in the Red Bull senior team. On the grass! Oh! oh They're both out! Wow. There will be hysterics in the Mercedes garage. Oh. They have thrown it away. At the age of 18, Max Verstappen is the youngest ever to win in Formula One. I don't think Red Bull are ready. with the tyres? They've not got the tyres. They've not oh. got the tyres. It's Monaco, and this is one I'll never get back. What's the difference with Nico Rosberg in 2016? The major difference is that my opposition um, had a really messy start. They'll come at me uh, very strongly, for sure. Hammer time is on! Come on! Oh! They hit! Oh, no, no! Yeah! My time. What does champagne out of a sweaty race boot taste like? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Delicious. Cheers! Scrumptious. One of the fiercest rivalries we've seen in Formula One goes all the way to the closing lap. Nico Rosberg is the world champion! I've decided to end my Formula One career. We see a first-time Grand Prix winner in Valtteri Bottas. Hey! Hey! Steering wheel, somebody tell him to give it to me. Come on! Whoa! Okay, you're clear to push now, Kimmy. They are pushing all the time. You want to keep going and doing laps and laps? Because this is, uh, I get absolutely nothing out of this. Forza Ferrari, ragazzi. Get in there, Lewis. Absolute masterclass. There's immense respect between those two, isn't there? There really is, and it seems to be growing. Me. Vettel literally just turned in and hit me. Was the contact deliberate on your front? Well, I think I don't, you know. They've seen today how a four time world champion behaves. The unraveling of the season in its extreme for Ferrari. Let's get ready. for a new front end. Lewis Hamilton becomes a four-time world champion. We have to remember these days. There's no guarantee that they will last forever. Nothing!